Hey guys, this is Sage Hinata, and welcome back to Sage Plays Final Fantasy XIV. We got a class quest to go to, guys. We got a class quest to go to. So anyways, uh, there's going to be a total of three or more. I might I might be able to swing an additional video uh, per week, but there's going to be a, a, at least three videos uploaded per week. Like I said, I might be able to swing an additional video depending on what happens. But it looks like we have an instance to go to. So, let's go to it! Kill some, let's kill some bird men. Thank you. 
Boom. Mission complete. Now, let us report to Savar. So now we're going to do this class quest. We are going to go ahead and continue onward afterwards into our story. But like I said, if you like these videos, do me a favor, hit the like button, comment, and of course, if you are not subscribed by now, hit the subscribe button, join the community. Like I said, we would love to have you. Uh, anywho, we are going to complete this thing. Yes. Somebody tried to get us killed. I don't think Silver expected us to, to uh, survive that. I think he intentionally led us to our death. So, Val, you got some explaining to do. Even now, I struggle to credit the Centuries reports. Yet, here you are, and this El Catan the Violator is no more. That a God's damned adventurer should be so. Hmm. Only by the grace of Neamelia herself could you have survived. But even though it's pure luck, I will keep my words. Should you stay or should you go, I care not. You have completed the task and are no longer my responsibility. Go now to Lucidion. She would doubtly wish you lava, lava she would doubtly wish to lavish you to lavish you with plays. Hmm. Oh? You'll get no more from me. Off with you. I am given to understand that you single-handedly drove off an Exali scouting party and that you did so with precision and guile. How exactly was that training, Luciani? Sage is just an adventure. So badly thrust him into the jaws of an enemy with the hope he would, that he wouldn't come back. And when, against all expectation, he did come back, the stubborn arch refused to acknowledge his skill. Is that truly your impression? Well, yes, he said it was pure luck. Mere noise, so I see Sage's skill. Of that I have I have no doubt. Did you not did you not mark the way he covered his mouth when he uttered the uh, the words? It is a habit of his to do so on occasions when his tongue and his heart are in disagreement. For all his skill at reading his idiosyncrasies of others, he has yet to rec to recognize his own. Impressive work, Sage. You have applied yourselves to Leah and Savar's lessons and demonstrated your command of the core concepts. You are now an archer in your own right. Allow me to teach you something to, com to commemorate this, this accomplishment. Repelling shot is an advanced technique that enables an archer to evade attacks while continuing to fire upon his opponent. Used wisely, it can grant you a brief respite in the heat of battle. I have faith that with regular practice you will learn how best to employ it to your advantage. Remember your seniors, uh, remember your seniors lessons as you strive for true mastery. So we get that. We also get, hmm, which one do I want? You know what? I'll take the boots. I'll take the boots. And we gain repelling shot. Now, the next class quest we cannot do until level 20. So, with that said, we are going to continue our story quest. 
So we got to go to the plaza. Okay. Oh, mother, I've returned. Hello there, Sage. Word of your tireless efforts at Bent, at Bent Branch Meadows has reached my ears. The folk there have not but the highest praise of you. You certainly have a knack for making mother proud. Keep up the good work, you hear? Hmm. Hmm? A letter from Luquilot. Yes, a letter. I would love to hear somebody actually, like, in the game. I would love to hear somebody in the game voice acting Mother Moine. Just a thought, you know. I haven't the slightest, I haven't the slightest inkling what this could be about. Gods be good. I have a mission for you, Sage. Suffice it to say, it is urgent. I fear it may also prove dangerous. However, you must be prepared. Make whatever arrangements you can to report back to me once you are ready. Now, there's a couple of things I'm going to do before we do this. Yeah, we also leveled up. Uh, there's a couple of things I'm going to do real quick. So, yeah, there's that. Now, I know we have the bronze salad, but I'm going to replace that with this. Because, like I said, um... Because, like I said, I know we have that, but I'm going to keep my friendship circle on. Simply because it increases EXP. I'm also going to keep my alley map. Now, I wonder, even though this says level 50 and below, I wonder, do they stack? Like the, the AXP increases, do they stack? Anyway, let's talk to the mother. Time is of the essence, so I must speak plain. Based on Luquilot's observation, the Ixthal have, have designs on the Guardian Tree, and they mean to act soon. The tree is the oldest living thing of, in this ancient forest, and is held sacred by every forest-born Gridanian. Should it come to any harm, the elementals will fly into a rage beyond pacifying. I dread to think of the chaos that would ensue. There isn't much time. We must act quickly. Sage, please see this letter to the hands of the bow lord Lewin at the seat of the first bow in Quiver's hold. Should the need arise, pray put yourself wholly at the man's disposal. I, I strongly suspect he will need all the able-bodied souls he can muster. The fate of, a, the fate of Gridania hangs in the balance. 
Go swiftly, Sage. Oh, it's in the Archer's Guild. I do notice the audio is kind of lagged behind when I when I accept a quest. I do know it's 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 not bad, but it is noticeable. It might be the server itself. An urgent message from Mother Marin. Very well, you may enter. Why yes, we would like to proceed to the first seat. Oh, Lewin. So you are Sage Hinata, the adventurer of whom I have heard so much. I understand you wish words of me. Lewin has information on Ixal, you say. Speak freely, you have both my ears. Well, actually, I have this letter for you. Matron for Fend. They mean to defile the sacred tree? Before Nofika, I swear these filthy birdmen will not touch it. Nay, so not so much as a single leaf. Twelve, help me. How can it be that neither the wood whalers nor the gods could have caught wind of this? I can help I cannot help but think this plot bears the mark of the masked devil who has eluded us for so long. We must be wary, this incursion may be more than it seems. Ah, would that the warriors of light were still with us. But this is no time for such idle thoughts. I thank you for delivering this message. You may assure Marine that I will dispatch a unit of my best men to invest it. My lord! What is it? It's the Ixos, sir! The Ixos the master at the Guardian Tree! Already? Bloody hells. Sage, Moraine believes you capable, and I can think no better judge than she. Lend us your strength this day, aid in the defense of the Guardian Tree. You have my aid. Well... So, this is actually where we need to go. So, we will actually go ahead and use one of our tickets and teleport to Central Shroud. Okay, now, cool. we're going to go ahead and run. Now the question is, will this be another instance quest? Let's see, I am level 16. I 
That's level 30. I might be going the wrong way. Yeah, I might be going. Whoop, whoop, whoop. I don't want to go that. I don't want to. I don't want to fall. <sighs> All right. So let's head back down because I have a feeling I went. I took a wrong turn at Albuquerque. So. There we go, I'm going the right way now. Yeah, for this type of mission, I have a funny feeling that this might be a, yep, I can already tell. I can already tell. The Bow Lord sent you, yes. Good to have you with us. The Birdmen have completely surrounded the Guardian Tree and their calls grow more urgent by the minute. Whatever it is they mean to do, that we cannot let them go through with it. We must be stopped, no matter the cost. Well, let's get through it. Let's get through it. Do -do -do. A marvel voice of creation, a marvel voice of time! Squawk! Attend me all! To us this forest Tanoka belongs! Wisdom of Pentagons we possess! To our former glory, restore it at will. From this tree, a great crystal we take. Unto Galuna, the unoffering we shall make. Unfeathered ones and elementals banished we shall. Our ancient home reclaim it we will. Squawk! Bye. First squad left flank. Second and third right flank. The rest form a main form the main host with me. It is high time we reminded our Excel guests why we Quivermen are to be fared. The position is yours, adventurer. May the elementals keep you. Interrupt us, you dare! In your own blood, you shall bathe! <laughs> you can try! Alright! First things first, I've got to kill some of the other ones.
Oh no, you don't. I think we did it. I think I did it. Yep. Impressive work, adventurer. You're, the bowler bids you hold this position. Enemies may yet lurk near, so stay on your guard. We go to bolster the left saint flank where the battle yet rages. Hello, hello, hello. The source of his strength becomes clear. You may have bested the golem, but you will not fare so well this day. Mournful voice of creation, send unto me a creature of the abyss, my thrall to command so I may smite mine enemies. Obelisk the Tormentor! I mean, this dude. Your very being imperils the plan. You cannot be suffered to live. Well. Now for those of you who are watching this video. Don't make the mistake I once made at this mission. Don't go for the mage. Just focus on the gargoyle. You go for the mage. And you're in for a world of hurt. One. That mage may say. Uh, level 16. But yeah. He'll mess you up guys. Go for the mage.
And of course the fate starts right when I get out of the instance. Uh, that the wisdom of the paragon should be brought low by mere mortals. Panic Panagons? That's what I heard. The bringers of chaos or Asians to give them their proper name. It would seem our suspicions were correct. It is they whom have been manipulating the beast tribes. Sage. Are you unharmed? Had I known this creature was near, I would have sent men, not called them away. There is no makes there is no mistake, sir. He is the one who stirred the exile from their nest. Our intelligence was reliable. So this is the man who has eluded us for so long. Right? We finally got him. We sensed an ominous presence and came here as swiftly as our legs would carry us. Well, it's good to know what we're up against anyway. My thanks as ever, friends. Quiverman, move out! To say you played an instrumental role in the success of this mission would scarcely do justice to your efforts this day, adventurer. Upon your return to Kadania, pay visit me at Quiver's Hold. I will see to it you receive the thanks you are due. Hmm. You're probably wondering why we always appear where there's trouble, right? Well, trust me when I tell you, it's almost never our fault. Despite what it looks like, Papa Limo and I are actually helping the Gadanians. And we've been doing so far a good few years, too. Oh, did I mention we're not from around here? Hmm, why yes, we are Charlatans. However, however did you know? So I wasn't mistaken. Mistaken? About what? Nothing. Nothing at all. He knew! He knew we were looking at him! Aw, oh, you always do that. Mumble something loaded with meaning, only to keep it to yourself when someone asks. It's unfair! And it's especially unfair when, it's, when the someone is me. Oh, do calm down. I'll tell you later. Hmm, I bet you won't. Anyway, all's well that ends well. Quite. We're best be on our way. See you later. And look at that, a crystal that nobody ever saw. Oh. Interesting. Well, we got one place to go then. Let's go to Gadania. Because I do believe that is where Le Win is. Oh. 
All right, all right, all right, all right. We are going to Gadania at the at the Archers Guild. So let us go, let us go. Welcome back, adventurer. Your exploits at the Guardian Tree are the stuff of songs. The Bull Lord awaits you within. I, I have waited your return, Sage. Allow me to thank you again for helping us to defend the Guardian Tree. Not only did you put the invading Exo to rout, you confronted the mass mage and his fell minion and emerged a victor. I have good men and women under me, none of whom give me cause for complaint. But you, Sage, are a class apart. Your strength, your determination, your heart. You have all the makings of a great adventure. Moeen is seldom mistaken in her appraisals, and she is plainly not mistaken now. Gridania is stronger for your presence. The Elder Seed Seer would doubtless be pleased to learn that a capable adventurer like you has come to us. Once more, I thank you. Owing to your valor, disaster has been averted. Elder Seed Seer. My lady. Hi! I am come to express my gratitude for your valiant efforts before the Guardian Tree. Nice to meet you too! Wanna be friends? I am informed that an adventurer of singular talent now walks amongst us. You are he, are you not? That be me! My name is Khan A. Senna. And it is my solemn charge to watch over all who call Gridania home. Well met and welcome to our fair nation. It was your valor that won us the day, I believe. On behalf of all Gridanians, I offer you my humblest thanks. This gift I present to you as a small token of my gratitude. I hope that you will ever remain a friend to Gridania. Green Bliss is coming. It is an age-old ceremony to renew the bond between man and elemental. Over the centuries, it has blossomed into a joyous festival encompassing Gridanians from every walk of life. I should be most gratified if you would participate in the ceremony as emissary. As emissary? Oh, such a great honor. I look forward to seeing you on that most joyous of days. Oh, she wants Sagey Boy to be emissary. Yes! Waifu Nation! Till then, fare you well. May you walk in the light of the crystal. None in, none in Gridania can doubt your worth, Sage. But to receive such praise from the Elder Seed Seer herself. And nor is that the half of it. She chose you to play as role of emissary, for God's sake. An outsider? Do you have any idea what this means? But of course you don't. You are not forest born. 
which is rather the point. Mistake me not, I think you worthy, and your selection is all but unprecedented, but I wager you, you have not the faintest inkling of what is required of you. No, I do not! There are preparations that the emissary must needs complete ahead of time. I suggest you consult Moeen regarding the matter. She is overseeing the arrangements for the event. Now, you are best get going. The, cer the ceremony cannot commence without the emissary. Oh, and Sage, don't make a hash of this. It's not like I make a hash of anything. You know, I might be a goofball. I might be a weirdo sometimes. Hell, I got weird ass. I got horns, for God's sakes. I'm an I'm a dome one, for God's sakes. I'm an aura. But, goodness gracious, I don't make a hash of anything. Anyways. <laughs> well, don't you just love it? Alright. We are going to be talking to the good mother. But seriously guys, I hope you guys enjoy these videos. This is the third video uh, that I have recorded. Today is Thursday, August 4th, as far as the recording is done. Uh, yeah, this is the third video today that I have recorded. And it, it's... I'm having fun, guys. I'm having fun doing this. And I hope you guys enjoy my wacky voice acting, okay? So let's go ahead and talk to the good mother. Oh, hi, mom. Well, well, if it isn't the emissary himself, had I known you were coming, I would have baked a pie. You knew exactly what was going on. You truly are full of surprises, Sage. Next, you'll be telling me you're one of the warriors of light, back from a half decade long holiday. You never know! You never know! But I speak of preparations. As you doubtly already know, Green Bliss is an age-old ceremony for strengthening the bonds between man and elemental. These days, though, the name also refers to the festival at large. In the ceremony, the emissary serves as a conduit, a bridge between the people of the and the guardians of the Twelveswood. Suffice it to say, it is no small responsibility, nor does the Elder Seed Seer choose mankind's representative on a whim. Well, I mean, technically she does. I mean, she chose me, for goodness sakes. Me! And honestly, every other uh, online character that comes into the game. That gets to this point in the game. Every other online... So technically... She chooses Mankind's representative on a whim. Seldom in history have non forestborn been chosen for the role. Which should give you an idea of the magnitude of the honor being accorded you. For your part, you are required to wear a ceremonial artifact, which is presently in the keeping of Timber Master Beaton. Master... Master Beaton? Timber Master Beaton? The f... The... What did... I'm going a little crazy! Go to the Carpenter's Guild and collect it from the man and return to me for further instructions. Alright. Let's run!
So you are the emissary to be. Moain sent word that you would become to collect the ceremonial artifact. The good news is that it's ready. Painstakingly crafted by these very hands and from the rarest of materials. Take it, along with this warning. Get so much of a scratch on the thing and, shall, and I shall make an unceremonial artifact out of you. Miss Beaton? Don't make me... Don't make me punch you in the butt. Back from your trip from the Carpenter's Guild, let's see what you have in that box. Here's the box. Ah, this is by far the finest Manoa mask I have ever laid eyes upon. The Timber Master has truly outdone himself this time. In case he didn't mention, the mask is crafted from consecrated lumber rendered up by the Guardian Tree. Solely for use in the ceremony, in other words, it is priceless. Mother bids you to handle it with care. And with that, your preparations are complete. The venue should just about be in order as well. If you have any questions, now is the time to ask them. Now that you have the Manoa Mask, all that's left is to participate in the ceremony. Perchance you are, you are feeling nervous, but never fear, despite all the pomp surrounding the world, there is nothing to be an, there really is nothing to be an emissary. All you are required there, all you are required to do is wear the mask, stand up straight, and look dignified! The more involved aspects of the proceeding will be handled by others. Simple, no. The ceremony will be held at Maketo's Amphitheater, where you, when you are ready, make yourself known to the caretaker there, a woman named Estane. Oh, and be sure to wear your mask or she may not recognize you. Now off you go, Sage, and good luck. Oh, you're going to make me wear... Hold up. Hold up. Hold the bloody phone. You are going to make me wear this ridiculous mask. This mask looks ridiculous. I look like Geralt when he's wearing his mask. During the little party with Triss. Now I know Mother Moin doesn't know of the Witcher and Geralt of Rivia, but I still look ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, can I just wear the feather? No? No? Of course not. Highest stain. Ah, you, mu you must be the emissary. I see you c have come prepared. That as well. I have been instructed to escort you to your place. Please follow me. Look, the elder Cecia. Twelve bless her hearts. Her hearts. Does she have more than one?
May he find favor with the elementals. This radiance. Well, I mean, I am known as the RPG Ninja. Hokage of the RPG Village. You know? Maybe you've heard of me. My name is Sage Hinata. Could it be a crystal of light? And yeah, I was holding this the entire time. Tell me true. Has the Mother Crystal revealed herself to you? Did you bask in her light? Have you, perchance, experienced sensations akin to ether sickness of late? Now that you now that you mention it, I have been kind of feeling a little queasy every now and again. I mean, I thought it was just I thought it was just that eel pie that Mother Moeen had actually served me because you know eel and pie. I mean, sorry, please go on. That Heidelin would speak directly to this man. There once were dauntless adventurers who fought in the name of Eorzea. When the primals threatened to bleed the land dry, these brave men and women rose to face them. When the Garlean Empire resumed its war of conquest, they rushed to the realm's defense. And when it was foretold that Dalamud would fall, they fought with all their strength to deliver us from certain doom. Yet as strong and as brave as they were, they, like so many, disappeared amidst the flames at Cartano. None have forgotten the heroes who gave all for the sake of a realm not their own. Yet when we try to recall their names, we find the pages of our memories are blank, as if bleached by the sun. And when we try to recall their faces, we see them only in silhouette, as if they stood betwixt us and a blinding glare. Hence have these heroes come to be known as the Warriors of Light. Final Fantasy 1 reference right there. Just saying. Crystal, Mother Crystal, many adventures coming to be, suddenly being called the Warriors of Light. Final Fantasy 1 reference right there. Beholding you, Illuminated by the glow of the crystal, I could not help but be reminded of them. The crystal has chosen you for a purpose. Trust to its guiding light, and all shall be revealed to you in good time. Though none can say for certain what the future will bring, it is my belief that you may yet play a telling role in the tale of this great realm. Translation. If you are playing this game, you are the main character. For the power of the Echo resides within you.
games to the fore. Victory belongs to the bold. Show those Imperial whore sons what we're made of. The left flank buckles. Divert the Barracudas. Bid them hold that position, though it costs them their lives. The Yellow Serpents are in need of succor. Pray, send the White Wolves to their aid. The adventurers risk life and limb for our cause. We must not fail them. Is aught amiss? No, it is nothing. Oh, oh, bloody hell! The barrier won't go down so easily! Eyes forward! We are being watched. Raging Bull, calling Bloodthorn. Bloodthorn, respond! Respond, damn you! This is Raging Bull. What news? We're surrounded by a blaze. There is no way out. God preserve, what is that thing? What's going on? Speak to me! God damn it! We cannot hold much longer! Ah! Ah! Mad Snake! Mad Snake! Answer me! Damn it! Damn it all to the seventh hell! What of the Barracudas? Can they not be reached? Sorry, Admiral. Shell's not working. What of our own? I cannot say, my lady. That monstrosity appears to be disrupting our communications. We must keep trying. Call till they respond. Yes, my lady. Admiral, General, we can do no more. We must give the order to withdraw. I will not forsake Louis Swa. General, please. Victory may belong to the bold, but there will be no victor this day. You know this to be true. Let us not sacrifice lives in vain. The adventurers fight bravely, but to no avail. Let them withdraw. And let us be the ones to stand with Louis Soi. Belay previous orders. All Maelstrom units are commanded to fall back effective immediately. Give the foreign levy priority. Let the main host cover their retreat and bring up the rear. Damn it. Relay the order. All flames are to withdraw. I don't care if our link cells are useless. You still have a working pair of legs, don't you? Well, use them, you bloody halfwit. <laughs> oh my god, I love Waban. The 
The outcome of this battle was long since decided. Better to retreat now than risk a massacre. This dark, stifling presence. Who or what? We go to take our place beside Archon Louisois. To your positions. Ah, look who's back in the land of the living. Hmm? You mean to say you don't remember a thing? You collapsed in the middle of the ceremony. Gave us, gave us all a good flight. So we carried you back here, I must say. You're heavier than you look. You've... You've hardly stopped of late. Your excursions must have caught up with you. Uh, I'm fine. But your event but your adventures are nothing if not resilient. Seeing as the worst has passed, I shall take my leave and return to my duties. Oh, I almost forgot. The elder seed there told me she would like to see you if you are what when you are well enough. The gentle soul was almost as worried about you as I was, bless her. When you're back on your feet, be sure to visit her at Lotus at the Lotus Stand. That said, that will have to happen next time on Sage Plays. Final Fantasy 14. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all. And I'll see you guys next time. If you like this video, do me a favor. Once again, hit the like button. Uh, if you want to comment, give a comment. And of course, if you are not subscribed in this video, if you like this video and want to see more, I hope this video earns that subscription, my friends. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.